news editor of Playbill.com, and uh, I've been in, thank you, thank you, thank you one person. Um, um, I, I, I can't believe that I'm, even with all the wonderful people I've met in my career, I can't believe I'm sitting up here with these folks. Uh, let me just jump right in. Uh, this is Putting It Together, our forum on Broadway directors. And we have an unbelievable panel here of artists whose visions have delighted and enlightened all of us. I'm going to introduce them. I'm going to ask a, a question or, or several, maybe several questions. And then I'm going to open the floor because I'm sure a lot of people here have questions as well. And I want to thank you all for, everybody, for showing up. Last year when we, at the snowstorm, we had a lot of panels where not everybody showed up, but I'm so pleased that we got everybody. Thank you. Um, you know, reading even a summary of their credits would basically take the whole rest of the afternoon. So I'm going to hit just a few of the heights. Uh, whenever I finish with a credit, I'm going to ask you to use your imagination and mentally add the phrase, and dozens more just like this. <laughs> also, if you saw a show that I mentioned, remember, savor the visions that, that these people gave to you in collaboration. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, Mr. Des Makinoff, sitting in the center there. He is a, a Tony-winning Broadway director and longtime artistic director at La Jolla Playhouse in California. He directed on Broadway Billy Crystal's 700 Sundays, which won the Tony Award, The Who's Tommy, which won Tony Awards, the original production of Big River, Tony Award for Best Musical, oh, and Jersey Boys, uh, which just finished a 12-year run. Okay, I'm hoping you're adding the, and many, many more, because the, I, I could fill pages with his credits. Um, Miss Tina Landau, second from left, is a director and a playwright, and an ensemble member at Steppenwolf Theatre Company. As a, as a writer, she's responsible for the book and additional lyrics for the musical Floyd Collins. The love for Floyd Collins is welcome. It's a great show. As a director, she has staged many shows in Chicago and on Broadway, including the revivals of Bells Are Ringing, and she is doing the upcoming The SpongeBob Musical. <laughs> Miss Kathleen Marshall. You don't have to read her credits, but I'm going to anyway. She's the modern master of musical revivals. Her credits include the Sutton Foster Anything Goes, the Donna Murphy Wonderful Town, the Bernadette Peters Kiss Me Kate, and many more. She was artistic director of City Center's Encores for four seasons, and she's also created original staging for new musicals, including Seussical and Broadway's current In Transit. She has won three Tony Awards out of nine nominations, three Drama Desk Awards, three Outer Critics Circle Awards, the Fred Astaire Award, and the George Abbott Award, and her mantelpiece must be like seven feet wide at this point. Um, Pam McKinnon. At the end. Now she's been nominated for two Tony Awards and has won one for the 2013 revival of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf with Tracy Letts. She's, uh, most of the folks on this table have done a lot of musicals. Her specialty so far has been uh, plays. Uh, she directed the Pulitzer Prize winner play, Clyburn Park. She's also another Steppenwolf member, and both of the shows that earned her Tony nominations originated... No? What's that? Straight... I'm no, not an ensemble. Not an ensemble member. She's not... Well, I could have been. She would like to be involved with Steppenwolf, but she is not. So as I said, she's not a Steppenwolf member. Uh, both of the sh uh, shows that uh, earned her Tony nominations, though, originated at Steppenwolf, correct? Yes. No. So, all right, so this is, uh, this, this bio has been, is, this bio is bunk, alternative facts, that's right. All right, but you are directing Amelie this season on Broadway, right? Okay. With Philippa Sue. Philippa Sue, who thought, well, you know, Hamilton is okay, but working with Pam McKinnon on Amelie is really going to be great, and I think it is. And Diane Paulus, sitting right next to me. All right. 
I put your seatbelts on here. She has hit home runs with her first, she hit home runs with her first three times on Broadway at Bat on, as she arrived in 2009 with the acclaimed revival of Hair, which won the Tony for Best Revival. She returned in 2012 with the acclaimed revival of the Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, which also won Best Revival. And she tried again in 2013 with Pippin, with the same result. She also directed Finding Neverland, Little Musical, and uh, the current musical, Waitress. She's part of the all-female, first all-female, top Broadway creative team. The show recently announced that it has recouped its entire $12 million investment. And in her spare time, Ms. Paulus is a professor of theater at Harvard. In, 19, in 2014, she was on Time Magazine's annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world. And what have you done lately? <laughs> Inside these beautiful heads that you see here are the first visions that all of us have shared on all the wonderful projects that they've worked on. And they're here with us today. We're in the same room with them. So inhale, you're breathing the same air as genius is. Okay, so now, anyway, so I guess since we're talking about vision, I want to know how does that vision come? Has any show you've ever done matched the vision that you had in your head? I'm going to start with you. Yes? But, um, you know, I, to me, I sort of feel like the, the process of, of putting together a show, to me, is like a spiral. Uh, and you're on the outside of it, you're sort of circling around, and you know, you, you read a script, you listen to music, you start to form ideas, you talk, you put a team together, designers, you start to cast it, and then, and every time you go around, you get a little, you get a little closer to the center, and you go around, and you go around, but I, to me I feel there's, there's no shortcut, you can't just go right to the center, I sort of feel like you have to go around, and around, and around, and each time you sort of read the script, each time you do a reading, each time you, uh, and even each day of rehearsal, you sort of start to spiral into the center. And, um, but I think you may have a sort of general feeling, but I, I think shows reveal themselves to you as you work on them as well. 